and it's just basketball. At the end of the day, it's just basketball. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. I hope you all are having a truly, truly fantastic day today. I would say that most people, when they think of the Miami Heat, I believe the majority of people, the player that comes to mind most is Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade spent the majority of his career, of his 16-year career with the Miami Heat. I believe he was there for 13 or 14 years and uh, was able to bring them three championships. Dwayne Wade did, not LeBron James. Uh, when I think of the Miami Heat, I don't think of LeBron James. I think of Dwayne Wade. And even with a super team, despite saying not six, not seven, not eight, LeBron James could not even bring them three championships. But Dwayne Wade bought three championships. Uh, one of those championships without the duck, he bought to the city of Miami. And I would also say that Dwayne Wade probably, in most or in a lot of basketball fans' mind, is a top five shooting guard of all time. So, I'm sure you've all seen <laughs> and heard recently that the unveiling of the D-Wade statue happened in Miami, and I'm sure you've seen several content creators tell you about how atrocious how horrible that statue was. Uh, me, myself, personally, uh, there's so many things wrong with that statue. I, I was really just thinking, like, rather than unveil a statue like that, why not just postpone <laughs> the statue unveiling? Even if, even if it had to be postponed for another year or two, why not just do that than the unveil... <laughs> That ridiculous looking statue. Um, first of all, I, I think the pose they chose for the statue was ridiculous. Like, it, you know, to me, the, the pose they chose for that statue didn't look like. Not only did it not look like Dwayne Wade, but it just didn't look like. Uh, that was the best pose to choose for that statue. I mean, you know, um, yeah, the, the, the pose was ridiculous. The, the pose, uh, <laughs> it looked like D-Wade was throwing a temp temper tantrum. That, that's what it looked like to me. I, I understand what they were going for, but what it looked like <laughs> is D-Wade was, well, not D-Wade, somebody else, because the face did not look like D. Wade. I've heard the face be compared to Kelsey Grammer and, and some different people. But the face did not look like D. Wade. Uh, yeah, the, the, the statue was horrible. And, um, you know, comparing it to other statues, like, I honestly did not like the Kobe statue that much. But, again... You know, I feel like when you're talking about the standard of statues, I believe most people would agree uh, that the Michael Jordan statue is the standard of statues. So when I saw the Kobe statue, I was like, eh, OK, you know, it, it works. But I thought they could have did better. Again, I, I thought they could have chose a better uh, form, a better pose for the statue. But <laughs> I, I see the bar keeps getting lower and lower because, you know, as much as I, I, I didn't like the Kobe statue, I could live with the Kobe statue uh, just because, well, number one, because of who Kobe was, I feel like regardless of what the statue looks like, uh, it looked enough like Kobe. And when you look at the statue, you will remember uh, the best things about Kobe. You know, because the statue looks like Kobe enough. But this D-Wade... <laughs> this D-Wade statue. I I would not think of D-Wade when I see this statue. 
Now, D Wade is actually defending this statue. And so, without further ado, let's check out D Wade defending this atrocity. <laughs> A lot of people don't know. I don't know a lot of people with a statue. Do you? Anybody here? Y'all know anything about the process of a statue? Anybody, no one out there do neither. Um, and so, you know, it's an unbelievable process to be a part of, and it's a complicated process. And um, you know, when they're sitting down with the Miami Heat and myself, what we wanted to do is we wanted to capture a moment that uh, represented the organization, represented myself, and represented the city. I felt like we captured that moment um, in an artistic form, an artistic way. If I wanted to look like me, I'd just stand outside the arena, y'all, and take photos. You don't need to look like me. It's an artistic version um, of a moment that happened that we're trying to cement. Um, so, um, I'm just, you know, my family and I just woke up today still in disbelief. Still in disbelief that we were chosen, that I was chosen. Uh, to be, you know, the first person in this organization's history and this, to uh, to have that uh, honor. And it's an honor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, D-Wade. So, uh, he says that this statue represents an artistic version and that he did not want it to look like him. And to that I say, well, why is the statue wearing the number three? Why did you say you were honored to be the first person chosen for a statue? Because, you know, to me, according to what you're saying, that it's just supposed to rep represent the Miami Heat. But no, D-Wade, you were chosen. The statue has on the number 23, I mean, on the number three, uh, your number. So I can't figure out... Uh, <laughs> why it wouldn't look like you, except for this is just an excuse uh, for a terrible job. Uh, so, uh, you know, here's the thing. And, you know, a, a lot of people say uh, that we talk about Michael Jordan too much. But there is a reason for that. Uh, like I said, because to me in basketball, you're, you're either the kind of person who is trying to hold up to the standard that's already there, or you're the kind of person uh, that exceeds the standards. Like, you hold up to the standards and you exceed them. Or, of course, there is one more option, and that is being like the duck the deer, and that is throwing away all the standards because you can't hold up to them. There, there is a third option, fanboys. If, if any of you are looking to have a career in the NBA uh, with Commissioner Baltimore there, you, you have a third option. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, the Michael Jordan statue to me, it is the standard. And so, you know, uh, the thing about Michael Jordan is, and I think this is a, a good uh, example of different levels of inspiration. And here's the thing about Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan inspired people on, and if we're talking about basketball, now you, you if we're going into other things and other sports, there, you know, there are arguably some people, possibly, I'm not saying that there is, but I'm saying, you know, when you're talking about Muhammad Ali and people like that, there are arguably people who inspired people uh, just as much. But uh, let, let's just stick to basketball. In the sport of basketball, there is no other athlete who came close to the amount of inspiration that Michael Jordan gave to people. And this is evident by everything that has come about as a result of Michael Jordan. So his statue to me represents someone who was inspired to do the best possible job that they could do. Um, you know, if you look at Michael Jordan's highlight films, to me, they're the best highlight films out there in basketball just from an editing 
standpoint. But again, I think that is because whoever put these um, videos together, these highlights together on Michael Jordan, they were inspired by Michael Jordan from what he did to do their absolute best at putting these highlights together. Uh, and, and we can go on a long list of things inspired by Michael Jordan that just turned out to be the best ever. You know, Nike. Uh, but yeah, to me, this is a good uh, lesson in how much inspiration uh, people get from you. <laughs> and while Dwayne Wade, uh, like I said, I believe most people have him as a top five shooting guard. Some people as a top three shooting guard. Some people think it's it's Jordan, Kobe, and and uh, D. Wade, uh, and you know, for everything he did for Miami, <laughs> to me, this statue is a representation of of the when you compare the inspiration behind the statue to Michael Jordan, you kind of get a measuring stick of how much someone. Uh, feels compelled to do the absolute best job they can for you. And like I said, to me, D-Wade's excuse for this is it's, it's an artistic expression of the moment. Uh, well, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I would love to hear you all's um, opinions in the comments, but there is nothing inspirational about this statue. Like when I look at this statue, uh, I get no inspiration. Like, it is only comedy that can be derived <laughs> from looking at this statue. And to me, you know, uh, that's, it, it's a shame. It, it's really a shame. Uh, but anyway, uh, I will say this. I, I, LeBron James is probably inevitably going to get a statue somewhere even if he pays for it. And to me, the D-Wade statue looks as bad as the statue that LeBron James deserves. Like, whenever LeBron James gets his statue, th this is how bad it should look. <laughs> this is how terrible it should look. Like I said, he, he will get one one way or another, even if he has to pay for it. Uh, himself, you know, even if he has to steal a statue out of his uh, self-praising museum, you know, he, he will get one somewhere. I, I sincerely hope that it is not in, in L.A. I, I'll be honest. If L.A. gives LeBron James a statue, uh, I may never watch another Lakers game again, no matter who comes after, you know, because that, and, and it, hey, Lakers fans, if they put a statue of LeBron James in your city, um, I cannot express <laughs> how much I feel for you guys. You know, the, the real Lakers fans, the, the real Lakers fans who were real fans of the real Le uh, Lakers legends and real fans of basketball. Those guys, not the fake Lakers fans who are inevitably also a fan of LeBron James. But the real Lakers fans, if, if for some reason, somehow they put a, and, and, this is, and it's not, uh, it's not out of the realm of possibilities at this point because, you know, Bronny James is on the Lakers, JJ Reddick, uh, it, this is something that's very real that could happen to your franchise. But if they put a Lakers statue uh, a, a LeBron James statue in LA. I, I cannot express uh, my sadness for you guys. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But inevitably, wherever LeBron James statue ends up, probably in Cleveland, we, we all know, despite the fact that he doesn't deserve one there either. Uh, I hope it looks this bad or worse. Uh, because this, this statue is terrible. Like I said, there's it's nothing inspiring about it uh, to me. It's, it's only comical. The pose is not flattering. The, the pose does not, uh, you know, it's like I know what they were going for, but but they didn't capture it. You know, the pose should have been something athletic that D-Wade, you know, uh, the pose of a dunk or, or something that, that captures a more inspirational moment. But this, like I said, this, this just looks like a, uh, <laughs> this looks like a, a NBA player 
throwing a temper tantrum again, which would be perfect for LeBron James. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we gonna hold up here. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think? Not only of the D Wade statue, but what do you think of D Wade's explanation of the statue? Uh, do you accept that? Do you accept that, hey, this was just an artistic representation of D. Wade and wasn't necessarily supposed to look like D. Wade? Do you think, does this spot, uh, statue inspire you when you look at it, or do you think this was a colossal fail? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. All right.